Hello, um, welcome to Absolute Value Functions. This is the first lessons in um, the unit on absolute values that we'll be studying. Um, this video focuses on evaluating absolute value functions. So let's remember um, what absolute value really is. Um, absolute value is defined as the distance a number is from zero. So for example, if we're thinking about the absolute v value of three, here's three. How far away is three from zero? It has, it's a distance of three from zero. Same thing with negative three. So if I'm over here at negative three, it is, how far is negative three away from zero? It's also three units away from zero. So absolute value functions are functions where there's an absolute value inside or um, uh, in the function, or the function is an, um, has absolute value. So if we want to evaluate what these um, functions are at specific points or at specific x values, specific inputs, we want to plug in negative two wherever x is, so the absolute value of negative two, since f is defined as the absolute value of x, absolute value of negative two is positive two. If our input is zero, if x is zero, then I'm going to plug in zero, substitute in zero for when I see x, and the absolute value of zero is just zero. And the last one, the absolute value of two is positive two. Our function g of x is the absolute value of 4 minus 3x. So if I want to evaluate g of negative 2, then I'm going to substitute negative 2 in where I see x. So minus 4 minus 3 times negative 2. So that's the absolute value of 4 plus 6, which absolute value of 10 is positive 10 g of 0. So that'd be 4, absolute value of 4 minus 3 times 0, which is just the absolute value of 4. And how far away is 4 from 0? 4. And the last one, g of 2, 4 minus 3 times 2. The absolute value of 4 minus 3 times 2 is the same as the absolute value of 4 minus 6. 4 minus 6 is negative 2, and the absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. So something to think about <coughs> with functions is their domain. So looking at these functions that are just simple absolute value functions, there's nothing else involved in it, there's no denominators, um, what do you think the domain of these basic absolute value functions is. What kind of inputs can you put in to f of x and to g of x? Anything, right? Anything. So if you can put in anything into these functions, we say that the domain's all real numbers, and we note that in interval notation as negative infinity to positive infinity. The domain's all real numbers. So before moving on to the next video, here's a few problems to try. Let f of x be defined as the absolute value of x minus 3. And let's let g of x be defined as the absolute value of x plus 3. So slightly different functions. And I want you to evaluate f at 5, f at 0, g at 5, and g at 0. And then when you get done, I want you to think, what does this say about f and g of x? Are they the same? Are they equivalent? Or are they not? 
So think about that as you try. So try those before moving on to the next video.